from the standing calabash down to the story of a queen on a chessboard. The nani. Nobody is gonna beat this queen in her game. Benani. For the first time in a long time, an empress emerged. So conquer in style, the land of beauty is yours. The destiny of the states lies within her capacity. The story of a Khaleesi in the north, in the north. Benani, our Khaleesi. This is a chess game. She will never resign until she wins. She is the lioness in her territory. This is where our story begins. This is the time of a new dawn from the grazing cattle of a rich land. Up above the beautiful rising scorching sun, down to the flourishing green gardens of the land, beautiful waters and rocks. No sunrise or sunset could be more outstanding to the sight of humanity than that of the land of beauty. A state that wears its name with proudness and confidence in the northern part of this country, the realm that represents its slogan, land of beauty, war of a crown to be won from different political kingdoms. It is the game of thrones, and she is the chosen one, the choice and the voice, the queen in the north. From the distant storytelling of centuries, passed on generation to generation, from our pious predecessors of the past, we have heard noble women take lead, Power, but just few become conquerors. The Khaleesi Queen in the North. O oh, citizens, land of beauty, who are privileged upon such blessings and indescribable honor, I present to you the Khaleesi with a dragon fire burning inside her, waiting to be unleashed. Dracaris, the Binani of Eula. The queen of this empire, the chosen governor, the empress of the state, the queen conqueror, our mother, first of her kind, queen in the north, the Khaleesi on the iron throne. She is an island in the midst of a raging storm. A reign I know there will be synergistic flow of energy and power. A woman with smooth synchronicity and palpable striking. Voices from the crowd all hailing Benani, Queen in the North. I will love to turn back the wheels of history a little bit. Queen Amina of Zaria was the first woman to rule an African kingdom in the North for over 30 years. In the 16th century, she was the first queen ever in the Northern region, founder of the Zezo Kingdom. Now in the 21st century, history has repeated itself again. Now we have another warrior queen. A Khaleesi in the north, ready to fight to save her kingdom, her very own people. In the world of democracy and civilization, Benani, like the legendary story of Queen Belkis, Lubna of Cordoba, Rosa Parks, Razia Sultan, the Queen Elizabeth of England, and the fierce Queen Amina of Zaria. It is said, some are born to follow, while others are born to lead. It is our time. Heavy is not the head that wears the crown. If you want to win in life, you must take the road less traveled by. And that is what she is doing. A mother to the children in the community and society at large understands the pain of the citizens and has always helped in different ways. A lady of compassion, the defender of her people. All hail the Khaleesi, all hail the Queen. The time has come and it will free us from our shackles of misery. Melodious songs sang by the Nightingale, written in the books of the poets, sketched on the artist's finest portraits. The name Benani engraved in the hearts of the commoners. Even on the sands of history, until then marks the beginning of a new era. This is to everyone hearing this out there. We can do this and we can bring her to power. This is cliche, but I have to say it. She is the voice of the voiceless, with the capacity to transform. In her eyes we see hope. Citizens land of beauty, I wish you fortitude, courage and the confidence to vote her and select her as your leader. 
Chin or a chape, things fall apart. The center cannot hold. But trust me, the nani is all that holds the center and the realm. We want an empress to wear the crown with zeal and someone that owns their narratives. We wish you the very best, Binani. Adamawa, a land of a culture so diverse. That was a story about a Khaleesi in the north. Binani, it is time to rule the state.